This game wrap is brought to you by the Falls City National Bank, friendly, courteous, neighborly banking since 1907. By Bucks Convenience Stores, serving all of South Texas and a proud supporter of the Beaver Nation. By the Beaver Shack, DT's Lawn Service, Lewis Handyman Services, by Roger Moreland Pest Control, special promotional help by Philip Arisola. This game wrap is brought to you by Buy Score Game Day Bag. Buy one, get one free with the $59 Ava Classic Clutch, the perfect holiday gift for that special someone. Visit scoregamedaybag.com and buy. Hi everyone, Mr. Bowtie here. Thank you so much for checking out my content and my channel. Now make sure you bang home that red subscribe button on YouTube so that way you can stay up to date on the latest content from around the area that you won't find anywhere else. And follow me on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Football in December is a tradition in Falls City as they are into the quarterfinals for the fourth straight year. They make the relatively short drive over to Fredericksburg and they take on the Cristobal Cougars out of the San Angelo area. So far in the playoffs and really since the uh, mid part of September, Falls City has not been tested, blowing out every one of their opponents. Last week they shut out to Hannes in the wind down in Jordanton 39-0, using the wind as an extra defender. No wind expected though in Fredericksburg, but a little bit cool temperatures, not quite cool enough though for Ohio weather. As for Cristoval, this is the farthest they have ever been as an 11-man school since they went up from six-man in 1994. Cristoval's most famous alum, that would be former Houston Oilers head coach Jack Pardee. Pardee played six-man football for Cristoval back in the day. Well, now it's Braden Wilcox who is trying to do the Jack Pardee for the Cougars versus Fall City. Hey, let's take you into the heart of Hill Country and check out all the action. Cristoval's runout sign said, teams to remember play in December. FC used to December ball, Cristoval not so much. 37 degrees at kickoff, absolutely perfect December weather. Braden Wilcox, one of the top quarterbacks in the western half of the state, and he led the Cougars to their best season as an 11-man school. Fourth downs and punting, or lack thereof sometimes, were major factors in this one. Opening drive of the game for the San Angelo area team, fourth and one at the Fall City 26. Wilcox pass incomplete behind the intended receiver, the Beavers, with the early hold. Now FC's opening drive, quarterback Luke Schaefer on the short run. He lost his hat, but not his head, and it turned out that was a good thing in more ways than one for the Beavers. A couple of plays later, he kept his helmet on and scored touchdown 7-0 Fall City. Schaefer did a lot of his work, though, on special teams and on defense. Wilcox did his best to stay with Schaefer. He converted a pair of fourth downs on the next Cristobal drive. Now into the second quarter, Wilcox with a 23-yard touchdown run. Cougars don't have a kicking game, so they went for two but did not get it. I told you Schaefer would do most of his work in more ways than one, and he was clutch. Brought to you by Score Game Day Bags, home of the Ava Classic Clutch. Buy one, get one free for that special head coach of the family. Visit scoregamedaybag.com. The junior back to punt. No arrows out, so no faker block, but a clutch kick deep inside of the Cougar five-yard line pin them deep. Later in the game, he's back to punt again. Uncorked another outstanding punt. Got the turf bounce down inside of the five one more time. Two clutch punts. Uh, special teams wins game. You know, there's three parts to a game. There's offense, defense, and special teams. And with us being able to down him inside the 10 and make big stops on defense, it's very key. He was outstanding in the kicking game. Brought to you by Score Game Day Bags. Visit scoregamedaybag.com. Hey, their bags go great with the famous bubbles the Beaver fans shoot off after touchdowns. Why were his punts so clutch? The FC defense held Cristobal without a first down on both those drives and used the short field position to score themselves. Defense here nearly got a safety themselves. On the first offensive drive, Schaefer found Wesley Molina on a touchdown throw. Molina had two INTs last week. The Blue Hat section enjoyed it greatly. The second one came on fourth and goal. Grant Gendra said, so can I. Touchdown run for him and bubbles for all. PAT failed, FC though up 20 to 12. Touchdown set up again by that great punting. We're glad to have him, you know, he does everything for us. He's all in, uh, puts everything into everything he has and we all love him. 
Cougars scored right before the end of the third, but missed on all three of their two-point conversions instead of trailing FC Nurse a 20-18 lead. First close game all year for Falls City. Final play of that period, Wilcox pass complete for a first down, but a blindside block wiped out the first down, and Cristoval punted it away, and it turned out to be a key play. Then FC punted away the clock in the fourth quarter. Run after run after run ate up a large chunk of the period until Gendrush ate into the end zone for a score, 27-18, his second touchdown run of the game. The Falls City Orchestra played on and on. Cougars into full desperation mode, then the defense put the Cougars down for good. Wilcox scrambling, hit, lost the ball, recovered by Caden Moy. Guess who forced the fumble? Oh yeah, Luke Schaefer with the triple crown of plays on offense, defense, and special teams. Punting may not be as beautiful as, say, Kathy Ireland, but it was the key reason in Falls City winning and advancing to the semifinals, as was slowing down Wilcox. My D-line did a perfect job stopping him. Everything went right, and uh, they just made a good tackle, good force fumble, and I was there to get it up. You just try to contain him, you know, I mean, you, you're never going to stop a kid like that, and you know, he, he's a great athlete, but he's really, he's just a great football player too and uh, plays hard and has all the tools. And like I said, we were fortunate to, to make a couple of plays on him. Our kicking game, we had a little bit of an advantage in it. And, you know, we've, uh, with our schedule, I mean, really the way our games have gone, you know, we just haven't punted a lot. You know, we, we know what we have in our punter and, uh, you know, he does a great job every week. We just, you know, he just doesn't get to show it much and tonight he was huge. Next up in the semis for the third straight year is Mart and the Rondrell Freeman show. FC has not been able to slow him down the previous two times, and the Panthers won each meeting by three touchdowns. The match will be Thursday night in Pflugerville, where the teams played last year. Oh, by the way, Kiroff is 2-0 in semifinals all-time, 2010 when Falls City won the title, and then a few years ago while he was at Iran. Reporting from Peach Country, I'm Greg Sherman.